Amazon launches a web browser for India. Paytm to show IPL 2018 live scores sell tickets. Samsung Galaxy S10 may sport in-display fingerprint sensor. Today is Wednesday, April the 18th and this is 360 Daily. Before we go ahead with the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to hit the bell icon so you know when we have a new video. The Xiaomi Redmi S2 might be making its way to the market soon. According to a report, the phone comes with an HD Plus display with an 18-9 aspect ratio and will be powered by the Snapdragon 625 SoC along with 16GB of inbuilt storage. Additionally, the phone may also support dual camera setup with a 12MP primary sensor and a 5MP secondary sensor. There's no information regarding the release date but the report does mention that the phone will be released in both India and China. Amazon has silently launched a light Android browser in India which as the name suggests is designed to consume less space on the device at just under 2 MB in size. The app is claimed to offer a private user experience and is compatible with devices running Android 5 Lollipop and above. Amazon India has also kicked off Samsung 2020 Carnival sale where users can avail discounts of up to 5000 rupees upon purchase of select Galaxy series smartphones. More details about that on Gadgets360.com. Starting this IPL season, Paytm will start sharing live cricket score updates right on its home screen. These updates will continue to appear for all major domestic and international cricket tournaments as well in the future. The new Paytm feature is currently limited to Android devices though it will soon debut on iOS as well. Additionally, the company has also tied up with Kings 11 Punjab and Delhi Daredevils as their exclusive partners for online ticketing services. The design of Samsung's next year flagship smartphone, the Galaxy S10, has been known to be finalized and you know what that means, leaks. New reports indicate that the Galaxy S10 will get an infinity display and may come with an under display fingerprint sensor. Additionally, the phone is also expected to introduce certain 3D sensing features in its camera modules. Lastly, the panel production schedule is set to begin in November this year which is just 6 months away from now. Reports have suggested that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 will not have a single player campaign but don't feel bad as now it seems that the game will instead have a battle royale mode similar to Fortnite to make up for it. Raven Software, the developers behind the cult classic game Singularity, have been tasked for adding a battle royale mode to Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Additionally, Activision believed that the game's single player campaign was too out there and outlandish and hence it got cancelled. So that's all on this edition of 360 Daily and for all things tech, log on to Gadgets360.com.